Lilibet Diana Christening, Meghan and Harry to announce service has already taken place. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry could unexpectedly drop an announcement to state that their daughter's christening service had already occurred, claims a royal expert. A royal expert has speculated that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will announce that their daughter's christening service had already happened, rather than release the details in advance. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle welcomed baby Lilibet Diana on June 4 but no plans of her christening have been made public. The couple currently retain a strained relationship with the royal family which has sparked speculation around the likelihood of the service being conducted in the UK. Royal expert Russell Myers told the podcast Pod Save the Queen, I think that the word from their people is that they haven't decided, I don't know whether I necessarily will take that at face value. I just think they will probably drop an announcement that it's already happened and that will be all you know about it. It'll be very interesting to see if it is in the States, whether there are pictures that emerge over in the States, whether you get to know who her godparents are, because hark back to the time when it became such an issue that Harry and Meghan decided not to release the names of, Archie's, godparents. He also added that he did not believe the Sussexes would return to Windsor for a royal christening. Last week, a spokesperson for the Sussexes made a rare comment on the couple's plans for their baby daughter's christening service. Via the Daily Mail, the representative said that plans were still being finalized and claims otherwise were mere speculation. The five-month-old has never met her royal relatives, and it is unknown when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will next return to the UK. Lilibet's older brother, Archie Harrison has not been in the UK since October 2019, whilst Meghan Markle has not returned since completing her final royal engagements in March 2020. The Sussexes lead a strange relationship with the British monarchy following their Megxit departure and their bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey earlier this year. During the interview, the couple accused the royal family of ignoring their mental health refusing to intervene with the tabloid press and claimed that a senior member of the family had made a racist remark about the skin tone of their unborn son. Despite the situation remaining tense, it is believed that they enjoy a warm relationship with the Queen, who Prince Harry described as his colonel-in-chief. Their baby daughter Lilibet is named after her great-grandmother, in a touching tribute to the 95-year-old monarch. As an infant. The Queen had been unable to pronounce her own name, which led to her parents affectionately calling her Lilibet. Whilst Lilibet Diana's christening plans remain uncertain, her two-year-old brother had received a royal service in the private chapel of Windsor Castle. As is customary with royal children, he was christened in the silver gilt lily font using water from the River Jordan. Prince Harry and Meghan went against usual tradition however after they refused to allow the press to take pictures outside the chapel, and they refused to divulge the names of his godparents. Instead, they released two official photographs which were taken by their friend Chris Allerton. As of yet, no photograph has been released of the couple with their daughter Lilibet. The Sussexes currently reside with their two children in Montecito, California.
Instead, they released two official photographs which were taken by their friend Chris Allerton. As of yet, no photograph has been released of the couple with their daughter Lilibet. The Sussexes currently reside with their two children in Montecito, California.